all about the archers. I'm Philippa. And I'm Lauren. And we are here to talk to you all about what's happened in the archers so far this week. We will be covering the archers episodes from Sunday the 14th of April, Monday the 15th and Tuesday the 16th of April. There will be spoilers, you have been warned. So Lauren, as the t-shirt says, what do you think of it so far? What do you think of tonight, <laughs> Tuesday's episode? First of all, t-shirt. Beautiful. Looks lovely on thank you. you um, thank tonight's you. episode. Oh, I feel like a lot happened in tonight's episode. Um, and there was a few characters who we hadn't heard from in a while. We've sort of come back again. Lily, uh, Jazza and Chelsea. I felt like I hadn't heard from them for a while. We also had the old support group hostage situation, didn't we, with um, Harry and Alice. Alice's lying is just getting worse and worse. And I'm sure we've got a lot to unpack on that. Um, yes. But yeah, I also found something completely bizarre was the fact that uh, Fallon's had her hair done for a one night stay at Grey Gables um, and literally every single person is talking about the fact that Fallon and Harrison are staying there. Like, how posh and nice is this place that it is making everyone chat? And they are literally Close going for one night. It doesn't sound like Harrison's willing to fork yep. out, certainly not for a spa treatment and possibly not for no. a meal. So Fallon's no. going to have to bring some food in Tupperware. They are literally going there to go to sleep and then wake up and have a dry croissant and head home again. And the whole village is going to be there saying, did you have a nice time? How was it? Lining the streets as they go past. It's also like, what's blown my mind further is that as many of the people that are excited about them going work there or have worked <laughs> like, like they've been in that place. Like, yes. yeah, it's, um, it's very I'm strange confused about the whole thing. Very strange. Also, I, I feel like we heard a bit of muttering of Fallon saying, oh, I'm, I'm, I've, got, I've got a few things planned. I've got a few things planned. So I don't know what she's got planned, but yeah, something. I'm, hope, I'm hoping it's just quiche in Tupperware and nothing else that I need to worry about because... If I went yes. to a, a, a hotel room and my partner pro produced quiche in Tupperware, <laughs> I would be elated. Honestly, <laughs> I love quiche. And I love the fact that Oliver wants to give them some champagne, but they're getting half a bottle. You know, that's yes. it's just, I, just now, it's a I thimble. I feel like I picked up on that. Yeah, <laughs> half a bottle. Yeah. As in, it's already been drunk or you can buy, I don't drink booze, so I don't know, oh. do you buy half bottles or? Yes, you will. You can get, the ones I see are like the ones, like aeroplane ones where you get small, like oh. one cup ones. Well, you get two and... glasses out of that. Well, one in a bit. So they really are going to have to be drinking out of thimbles, I think. But I'm sure I'm sure Oliver's not necked half a bottle and then put the rest there. Oh, right. I'd say I'd say if I was Harrison or Fallon, I'd say, Do you know what? Don't worry about it, just keep it. Yeah. Half yes. a bottle is almost a bit of a Mickey take, isn't it? No, <laughs> I wasn't happy about it. uh yeah, I thought that sounded a bit unusual. But Alice is lying, we really need to talk about that, don't we? OK, we do, because that has wound me up so much this week. It's a week of deceit. Lily and Alice, we'll talk about Lily in a bit. But yeah, OK, Alice, thoughts, observations, feelings, what do you think? Well, I feel disappointed that um, Lillian and Kate's reaction to... Uh, sorry, Alice's reaction to Lillian and Kate showing concern for their loved one because previously she's lived a alcoholic life of lies where she's covered up a lot of stuff, that her go-to reaction is just fury and disappointment. And I think you should be pleased that these people are showing care and concern for you. And also, you are hiding something. So it's not like their, <laughs> their feelings are unfounded. Like, you are hiding all this stuff about Harry to the point where I'm not even sure why she's doing it anymore. Like, it could have come up yeah. at plenty of times. And I know no one liked Harry, particularly Kate. She didn't like his aura. But, like, <laughs> this might be something Alice feels she has to do in order to aid her recovery. And in which case, the support of her family or her sponsor, who still seemingly doesn't know, would be useful. But, yeah, I wasn't happy with Alice at all. Um, reacting but also... That way. I wasn't happy with Lillian and Kate just sitting there in the doctor. Well, Kate sitting there in the doctors yeah. and Lillian and oh, Kate God, sitting around. They go, they didn't say, 
But Alice, the reason we think this is that you are lying, actively, obviously yeah. lying, and you're exhausted, and you're cross at, at girls trotting on their ponies. You know, it. They didn't say that, so I was really, yeah. No. Oh, I was getting really angry about. It was that. all a bit of a mess, wasn't it? But I just think the reactions were just mad and wild. But yeah, I, I wonder as well. I got the vibe today, and I feel like I've maybe said this before, but I felt like we saw the back of Harry today. I felt like it was a farewell from Harry than a "I'll let you know how things go." But I feel like I have said that before. I don't know. Uh, in some ways, I think great, because maybe that will be some distance. But as he was distancing himself from Alice, Alice seemed to want to be close to him. And also, can I check on you? And the fact that she didn't want to go to her AA meeting, presumably because every, if, uh, that was when Harry was going to go with her and everyone in her yeah. AA meeting would say, this, this is ridiculous, this relationship oh, that you of have. of course, I hadn't made that. And will her sponsor be at her meeting as well? Yeah, possibly. I don't know. So then she'd have to explain the... that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's lies, lies, lies. So even if it lies, doesn't lies, end lies. in Alice drinking again, it there is there's going to be some explosion. Chris is going to find out that it wasn't a meeting about pony arrangements tonight. So Alice, Alice, Alice. Well, let's go through your phase because phase and flops are the things that we do. Phase. What phase of the week so far? I had a faith that it sounds as though Dr. Malik is moving to the area and I quite like Azra. So um, she's looking at a house and yeah, it sounds like she's going to stick around, which I'll be pleased about. God knows where our deal's got to. But I wonder if he'll be popping back here now that she's living in the area. But um, I was quite excited about that. I also felt like we saw a bit of um, Harrison's sort of assertiveness or cheekiness tonight. Maybe not assertiveness because I feel like he was being very um, gentle with the cricket, but the way he spoke to Jazza was like, no, 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 I'm not standing for that. Let's listen here. And also him calling Lily out with Lily's cheeky schemes, which I know you weren't happy with. Um, how did you feel about Lily's cheeky schemes? I was... Lily does wind me up. The trouble is, every time I say a character winds me up, a person Ambridge winds me up. We then interview them and I decide I love them for eternity. So, <laughs> but at the moment we haven't interviewed the actor who plays Lily and Lily is really winding me up. She's so <laughs> full of herself. And I know that's how it's being played, so, but she's got this cunning mm. plan and I don't like it. And I don't like it because of Oliver, poor Oliver is running around the place trying to keep everyone happy. He's so exhausted, he f he's forgotten what the egg race was all about. And, you know, who is on Team Oliver? Ardil dumped him in it and went off. Yes, Ardil then came back, but then he's gone again. The Grundis <laughs> haven't been that kind to him. Lily's no. not being nice. Who is there to cherish and look after Oliver? Tracy possibly, he's but not He's not as not really. with Tracy as he used to be, no. is he? No, it's very He's concerning. Alone. Poor, poor, poor Oliver. I feel very sorry for him indeed. Um, but yes, what other faves did I have? Oh, Chelsea and Fallon. This these hairstyles. Chelsea came to Fallon with some suggestions. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think she was suggesting? I don't know. She said, she kept saying it was experimental, she was saying, yes. or something a bit. What, what, how did she say it was described as? I can't remember the word. I don't really keep word. au fait with sort of what's, what's happening. Balayage, is that still a thing? Where it's a bit lighter at the back. The fringe with a different colour. I've noticed a lot. I've, I've got rid of my fringe of a different colour, but I noticed a lot more people have got fringes of a different colour. So maybe she was thinking about that. But yeah, Mohawk, I'm sure those maybe, in Grey Gables. Or... Yeah, Mohawk, Mullet. Yeah. Like, I look mullet. like a bit of a mullet today, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be a mullet. You never know. So, yes, I was interested in, in that. A fave of mine was Chelsea being so positive about these job interviews and that she's going to yeah. trade one off to the other. How successful do yeah. you think she's going to be? I find her quite shrewd, you know. I think, um, and I like that she believes she can do it. And I think it's a good idea. Whether or not they'll want her, I don't know. But something I did make a note of was I cannot believe how hard working these young people are in the mm. archers. Like Chelsea working 
at um, Lower Loxley, hairdresser, now going for a job at the pub, now going for a job at um, the tea room as well. Like, four jobs. Amazing. Same as George. I mean, you know, I'm not a George fan, but, like, non-stop worker. Like, and Brad as well, like, with his college and stuff like that. Like, these young people are just hard, hard workers. But I believe Chelsea could maybe do it. I, I wonder if um, she might have some competition from George in terms of getting the job at the tea room, if I'm being honest. But, yeah. I don't know because I don't know if you've been watching The Apprentice, but last week we had the interviews, and so will we yes. have that in Ambridge? Will we have a a collab <laughs> between The Apprentice and Ambridge? And we hear Chelsea in in the interviews giving as good as she gets, perhaps business plans at dawn. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you just never know. I'm I would be there you just for never know. it. Yeah. <laughs> any other any other faves at all that we no haven't covered faves. so if far? If I can slip into my flops, my big flop was the waste of NHS time that Kate, Lillian, and Alice were part of. Not Lillian so much; she didn't come on the day, but the passive aggressiveness that was going on there, and how inappropriate it is to turn up at a doctor's appointment purely to make a point is just awful. So I was very. That was very floppy for me. What about you? Any flops? Yes, I agree. The other flop for me, there was no cricket tea. I mean, surely the tea is the best bit about cricket and we didn't have it. The Very limited food this week. Not happy. That is Nick a flop Warburton. as well. Very limited. Yes. Nick Warburton, the writer this week, <laughs> not good enough. So the food I had was spaghetti for Martha, egg yes, had that too. and breakfast. Yes. Yeah, I didn't have breakfast, but I had spaghetti and Easter egg and couldn't no. believe I'd only written two things down. But that's just not enough. But I was a bit worried about this spaghetti for Martha because Alice was very aggress aggressively making it and then said, wait here while I go and feed Martha. And I just had an image of Martha having this burning hot food rammed in her mouth while uh, Alice was and, feeding her and then went straight back into Kate and Lillian in the kitchen. And seemingly it I was took ages concerned. as well, didn't it? Because they were waiting and they were yes. like, oh, how long is this going to be? Like, how long does it take for a almost three-year-old to eat all that spaghetti? Yes, maybe yeah, maybe Alice not was all that much food. food Disappointing. Just... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we should just God, say, for the purposes of uh, for the purpose of <laughs> listeners and those those watching on YouTube, please sub subscribe on YouTube. Um, that this is the second time we're doing this, and we're really not sure if it's going to work. So fingers crossed. But anyway, we're going to keep it's been a soldiering on. Evening. <laughs> it has, and certainly the one of my flops is us trying to record this episode. But never, <laughs> never mind. Um. Yes, what what else? We've talked about Lily, we've talked about Alice and Oh, Hannah and Chris, uh, oh, what do you reckon? Are you okay with Chris lying to Alice? Because lying everywhere. He didn't tell Alice that he was going out with Hannah. I do understand. I'm okay oh, with it. Oh yeah. Well, I wonder he recently said to Harrison, didn't he, last week that he's still in love with Alice. So I don't know if that's a bit of self-preservation maybe thinking oh well if things still go with Alice like I won't have gone on a date with another girl maybe I see little to no chemistry between the pair of them though so I don't think it's going anywhere oh I just want I want I have high hopes for them but I do have a prediction that will come on too short I'm going to save it as my prediction because I'm oh. running short on predictions but never mind <laughs> but I think we've we've covered our phase we've covered our flops we've covered food Anything else before we get on to Star of the Week? No, but I'm desperate to tell you, Miss Star of the Week. It's Dr. Tell Malley. me, tell she's me, becoming, Lauren. She's, quite, she's becoming quite my fave. I really like her professionality, mm. professionalism. Mm. And I also like the fact that, like, when she said to Alice today, like, oh, Azra, when we're outside of work, like, I can just see her really fitting in with quite a lot of people um i'm excited that she's moving i was very impressed with the way she sort of said we can't have this sort of thing carrying on in the clinic please no and yeah i like her she's my star of the week she was one of mine but as you've nominated her i'm going to nominate jazza i'm nominating i'm nominating jazza for three reasons 
first of all, I loved him at the cricket. He was brilliant. He was encouraging people to go for it. I don't understand cricket, but I thought he was great. I <laughs> loved him because he wasn't riled. <laughs> he wasn't riled with Chelsea and all her sort of biting comments. She's a teenager, but all those comments uh, with him today. And the fact that he, bless his heart, he, he tried to get her a job at the ball. So yeah, yeah. jazz it for me. That, that's my star of the week. Predictions. Hit me with them. Okay, mine are a bit vague. So I've said that I think something will happen during the Grey Gables visit between Fallon and Harrison. I don't know what it is. Now thinking about it, I wonder, is it going to link into this security check that he was doing? Mm, (gasps) I don't know. I just feel like there's something... There there wouldn't be all this footflow around it if it's just going to be, oh, we're back from Grey Gables, wasn't it lovely? Like, I'm I'm sure something's going to happen. Maybe. So the CCTV is um, not good enough. Yeah, maybe yeah, that, maybe the cameras like won't pick something um, up. Who knows? Um, and I also alluded to the fact I can't see Hannah and Chris working out. But I do think Chris and Alice might end up together. And I'm not saying I think it's going to be soon. This might be something in the in the uh, years in the making. But the little the little Harrison and Chris chat and Chris saying that he still loved her. The way he said it was so cute as well. And I just think. Maybe now we've seen the back of Harry. Maybe this will come to something. I don't know. I know it's what we all want deep down, isn't it? it I do for Chris, but I don't for Alice. Uh, so I do for Chris. Oh. I do for Martha, but I don't for Alice because I think that it didn't work for her, but it's yeah. not working for her now. So I no. yes, maybe. Any other predictions? No. What's yours? I'm desperate to hear it. <laughs> well, I've actually got two, I suppose. The first one is I've not enjoyed this week so far. I've got cross with a lot of people, cross with Alice, cross with Lily. So my prediction is the week will get better, I hope. I hope so. And my other prediction is that Hannah will end up with Will Grundy. So George will be very unhappy with that. It was something Will said about Hannah last week that just made me think, oh, could those two become an item? I hadn't ever considered it, but I don't know why. So because I, I can't it's see mad, why not. That's why. We'll see. Because it's it is mad. mad. <laughs> but I'd love Hannah turning up with her bag, being like, "You can call me Mummy now, George. I live here." <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't yes. know. I feel like Hannah's a sensible girl. She's not going to go near Will when the relationship with George yeah. is so bad, really. But I mean, it would be fun to see what happens. We'll we'll see. We will see. Yeah, I mean, Hannah strikes me as quite a, a a strong, punchy, quite an attractive, masculine, attractive, uh, an attractive person. Will, I'm yeah. not, he doesn't radiate attraction to me. No, I don't get many so, vibes from Will. Well, I do from yeah, it. So. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, but I just want it to really wind George up, but, but there we go. But those are our <laughs> predictions insightful as always well lauren's definitely were mine definitely weren't but that's it for this week we won't be on this weekend there'll be an interview next weekend and we'll be back on tuesday all four of us i just hope that this has worked and that you do get to hear and watch this recording <laughs> but uh, Who knows? this might be one for the uh, for the archives <laughs> yeah. so with that it's a bye bye from me and a goodbye from me Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye everyone.